in this diagram, we're going to be looking at the uh, diagram for uh, reflection of a curved barrier. So where we're going to start with this is um, I'm going to draw a focal point for this where all the waves are going to come to. Um, and in fact, I'm going to do all of this in pencil. The focal point is just here. Now you don't have to mark this as strongly as I am. It's just so you can see it on my diagram. So just in the middle there. And the next thing I'm going to do is check how far apart the waves are. One, two, three, four, five millimetres. Perfect. Um, so the reflected waves also need to have a consistent wavelength of uh, five millimetres. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw on some marks right, to guide where the reflection is going to go. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. Now, these are a bit funny, so I'm actually going to start on that one. I want two, three, four, five. Five, four, five, five. And I'm going to do the four there. Now, this is slightly more, but it's just it's as good as we can do in this diagram. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some more construction points on this. So the idea is what we're going to create are lines that go round, but to maintain um, the... So to maintain the constant wavelength, we're going to put markers on to help guide the line and make sure it is the same distance all the way around. So there's no particular angle I'm using here. I'm just doing about here. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, five, one, two, three, four, five, five again. Do another one here. Five, 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 five. Now, I don't need to do the middle because the first point is one, two, three, four here. Uh, so I'm going to do another set of points over on this side. So that's my construction lines drawn. Now how I'm actually going to draw this is I'm going to rotate it around like that because that's the sort of angle my hand's more comfortable working with personally for me. In fact, I'm going to go a little bit further. Now we'll start with the outer one and we want it to be sort of a sort of semicircle going around using our construction points for the distance. So I come round here. Now that is a little bit straight actually, so I can just rub that out. I'm not to remove any of the uh, construction points. Come around a little bit more. That one's quite good actually. There's a little bit of a wobble there. So in fact I can fix that now. Yeah, lovely. Don't say so myself. Now the next one, so you've got the points here, so it's going to go to this one. So in fact, I'm going to come this way on that one, and that way on that one. There we go. This one, so you've got these points here. And then these points here. And what you can see is that has created a diagram. I'm going to go the right way up. A diagram where all of the distances between the wave fronts are near enough five millimeters. It's not completely perfect because obviously you did a bit by hand, but it's very close to. Okay, 